Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks for Life, fly fishing. On my previous video dealing with uh, Waddington shanks and stinger hooks, I put together this uh, basic unit here. This is sort of like your starting point. We're going to put a fly on it today. I'm going to replicate my Dirty Harry pattern. It's an excellent pattern for dirty water, but it does have the disadvantage of a very long wing. And if the fish are not in an aggressive mood, I tend to miss a fair number of steelhead with it. It's cool getting the hits, but it's not cool failing to get the hook up. So we're going to do the same pattern on this with the stinger hook. And, you know, maybe I'll get a chance to try it if the uh, river, rivers ever come down around here. I mean, they're all blown right now. Anyway, let's look at the material. The Waddington shank I'm using is a four and a half millimeter, sorry, four and a half centimeter shank. Uh, that's one and three quarter inches roughly. The stinger hook, now this is a size six package, but I'm actually using a size four, the Kamikatsu octopus hook. I like the octopus style because of the offset. And I've got uh, the mono here is a 20 pound uh, maxima. You can use anything in that range. My thread is a UTC 140 in a bright red. My tag is going to be a Unimylar a gold silver on not size 10. I'm going to use the silver side. The rib is going to be a large oval French, Uni French. The body is a Uni yarn purple. The hackles are going to be black and purple uh, marabou and the black will be smaller than the purple. So the purple will be a rather full fe feather, and we're gonna use a, a, a more stripped off one for the black. We're gonna use this uh, red uh, SLF. Uh, it's kind of a UV SLF, and we're gonna use that for the um, dubbing ball that helps to flare out the marabou. Then we're gonna use some purple crystal flash and some black bucktail. So let's get started. And you can see I already have black thread on this one. I, I could have tied this with the red thread. I'm just gonna cover this up with the red thread here. Now we'll put on our tag. All the way back, get your thread out of the way. Lock that in place, trim off. Now for our rib. And the purple yarn. Now we're going to bulk up the purple yarn because we want it to uh, have a fairly thick body. And we want to cover up the red. Now we've got a bump at the back, so we're going to handle that bump by keeping the yarn nice and tight while we're covering up the, the bump. And as we come off the bump, relax the pressure so that allows the yarn to fluff up a bit. Stop a little short, come back. And don't go up on the bump, just stop a little short. And then bring to the front and we'll tie off. The head on this fly is gonna be relatively large, so don't worry about building up bulk. That's part of the game with this one. Now, you'll notice I've made a ramp here. It's the reason I don't want that wing kicked up at a sharp angle. Okay, now for the rib, just to turn at the back. 
come forward. Couple turns there. Bring it underneath. Just trim that off. Now it's time for the uh, SLF. This is optional. You don't need to put this dubbing ball on. I like to do it. Um, it helps to th give the uh, fly a greater profile. And um, what we can do is we can brush out the SLF to uh, give it a little bit of a trailing red to it if you wanted to. That's optional again. But. Um, what it does is it gives you um, a little bit of a hot spot. Any fish coming up behind sees a little bit of that hot spot. Sort of a bit like gills, if you want to think of it that way. So we brush it back a bit, a little bit more, I guess. There we go. Now we want a purple marabou feather. Tied in by the tip. And again, we don't mind the purple being bulky. So what I'll do is I'll fold the, the tip back. And the whole time you're folding this, wrapping this, I should say, fold it back so the barbs all point backwards. Okay, now the time for the black. What we do with the black feather, it's a lot smaller. It's not supposed to mask the uh, the purple. It just gives an extra little bit of a, a profile to it. Like the purple, we fold that tip back. Move your thread out of the way. Just like in the purple, we fold the hackle back. If you've got any uh, hackle that's trapped, you know, pick it out with your bodkin. There we go. Now for the crystal flash. I'm using a generous chunk of here, about there's probably about 10 strands in here. 
bring your thread to the back. Fold over, trap it. So you want your wing to be basically where the end where your hook is. You could leave it a little bit shorter if you wanted, so the hook is out there by itself, but I like to put the hook and the wing roughly together. Finally, our bucktail. Your choice whether you want to stack it or not. I'm not going to stack it. And this is not a heavy wing. You're not using a lot. Remove the short stuff. Again, you want to put it back down to about where the hook is. Trim off the excess. I pull it back a little bit. So I can get a taper for the head of the fly. Good. There we go. Now we whip finish and our UV glue. There we go. Dirty Harry tied with a stinger hook. Very effective pattern. It's caught tons of fish for me over the years in the hooked version uh, and uh, now I'm hoping to improve my hookup rate with the uh, with a stinger hook tied on a Waddington shank. So give it a try, the shank version of the Dirty Harry. Cheers.